So this is the much anticipated outwardly folding Huawei Mate X and having spent some extended time with it at IFA 2019, I genuinely think this is the best of the two major folding smartphones heading to market. But let me explain. Thanks for watching 95 Google on YouTube. Be sure to thumbs up, hit subscribe and then enable notifications with the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Let's get your concerns out of the way early. The display itself does feel really good. The fold is nice and smooth and the clasp is simply amazing to use. I'd say it's similar to clicking a ballpoint pen and by that I mean highly addictive. Obviously with an outwardly folding display there is no doubt that it is in the firing line unlike the Galaxy Fold and I can't say for certain how it will hold up long term but I haven't seen anything to lead me to believe it's weak or will scratch easily and it does come with a neat clutch purse that might come in useful if you do want to keep it protected on the day to day. Now I must admit I was cautious of the outward fold but after using it and seeing it in person it is elegant and essentially more useful. The hinge is not stiff, I'd call it supple without feeling flimsy or weak. I must admit I am interested to see how it holds up to an inward fold though but we'll let another famous YouTube teardown channel take care of that. For me though this is most definitely a phone that folds, not a folding phone. And by that I mean you can fold it out to take advantage of the massive and simply gorgeous screen real estate. Even without unfolding the Mate X, you still have a massive notchless display to contend with and it makes everything look great. It doesn't come without hiccups though, as the Mate X cannot have Google Play services installed as standard. That does mean that Huawei has had to tweak apps to work well and will have to in future should the US ban not get resolved. Being tethered to a spotty Wi-Fi connection was the only slowdown on the device that I noticed as everything is smooth and snappy to the Kirin 980 chipset inside this particular model with the Kirin 990 version expected sometime in the future. Not being able to test the major Google apps is a little frustrating and will no doubt be an issue for anyone even considering the Mate X, that's myself included. That said the camera performance should be as impressive as the current crop of Huawei flagships the fact that the rear facing camera also doubles as the front facing camera also means selfie photos and videos should be top tier too. I must say I do like the right sided grip when unfolded as it helps you with orientation and ensures slippage out of your hand is not as much of a concern as cases will no doubt be hard to apply and find. I can't really speak of the battery life but everything else in this package leads me to believe this is the most elegant foldable not yet on the market and it has me truly excited for our foldable smartphone future. How it fares outside of China might still be in question, but there is no doubt that with the Mate X, Huawei has one piece of exceptional hardware on the hands, and let's just hope we get to see it globally soon. Hey, as always, we're all ears. Be sure to let us know which foldable device you prefer down in the comment section below. But as always, this is Damien with 95Google saying thanks for watching, but until next time, I will speak to you later.